Hi, it's Rizka. Today I'm going to talk about food in the UK. When I told my family and friends that I was going to England, their reaction was like, is it the country of Harry Potter? Or is it the country of Queen Elizabeth? Or is it the country of the Beatles? And then they all said, are you okay with the food? British food is not so nice, right? Sadly, most Japanese have negative impressions of British food, especially people who have never been to the UK. So for today's video, as a Japanese who have stayed in England and tried various foods, I'd like to introduce my favorite British foods. These are completely my personal choice, and it's not only traditional British dishes. These are also foods that you can buy from grocery stores. I hope you enjoy it. Rice pudding. As a Japanese person who eats rice every day, it was quite shocking when I saw rice pudding for the first time. I was like, rice and milk? That's healthy! And then I had one mouthful. The first impression was that it was so sweet and the taste and texture were very new. In the end, I ate up everything in my bowl. Rice pudding is supposed to be dessert, but I have often had rice puddings for my breakfast. I'm in Japan now. I haven't had rice pudding for a long time. I miss rice puddings so much. You can buy tin rice puddings in any grocery store. In the rice pudding section in the grocery store, you can find rice for making rice puddings too. I have never cooked rice pudding myself, but I always used this rice as a substitute for Japanese rice. They are the same short grain rice, and the texture is similar. And pudding rice is much cheaper than Japanese rice. So if you have an opportunity to cook Japanese food, pudding rice just works fine. Trifle Trifle is a traditional English dessert. It's made with custard, fruit, sponge cake, cream, and jelly. You can find trifles in most grocery stores in England. In the beginning, when I went to grocery stores, I was always curious, and finally I tried it. The taste was just as I expected. It was lovely. The sponge cake was soft and moist, and custard and cream are just great combinations with sour fruits. The amount is more than enough if you eat it alone. It looks easy to make at home even in Japan. I definitely want to make it one day. Scotch broth. Scotch broth is from Scotland. It is made with lamb, barley, some vegetables, and beans. I was impressed when I had it for the first time. The taste is savory and rich. When I visited Scotland for the first time, I had it in a restaurant. I really miss scotch broth. That is an unforgettable taste. You definitely should try it when you visit Scotland. Steak bake from Greg's. The sausage roll is the most popular menu at Greg's, and it's nice too, but my best is steak bake. I always chose steak bake when I went to Greg's. There is beef inside of the pastry. It's so soft and rich. I don't know what ingredient it is. I don't think I can find a similar thing in Japan. I really miss it. What is your favorite in Greg's? Please let me know. Sunday roast. Sunday roast is a traditional British meal, and usually this is served on Sunday. I always chose roasted beef, and it's served with roast potatoes, some vegetables, gravy, and Yorkshire pudding. When I had Yorkshire pudding for the first time, it reminded me of this sweet custard pudding. I thought, wow, Sunday roast is served with a dessert. But actually, it's not a dessert. The meaning of pudding is not only dessert, it could also be savory dishes. This is Yorkshire pudding. It is made from eggs, flour, and milk. It's soft, it's a similar texture to cream puffs. Let me introduce other puddings. White pudding, black pudding, and steak and kidney pudding. I've only had black pudding once on the list, but I don't really remember the taste. I must try again when I visit England next time. And full breakfast. This is also famous traditional British food. What I like about this dish is you can enjoy various ingredients. 
I especially like grilled tomatoes, mushrooms, and sausages. And also ingredients are slightly different depending on the area. When I visited Scotland, I had a Scottish breakfast. It was served with haggis. I loved it. It's a large amount, so if you eat them in the morning, you don't need to eat anything for the day. I have introduced my top 5 British foods today, but this is only one part. There are more fantastic dishes, and there are still many British foods that I've never tried before. What British food do you recommend? Please leave your comments. And thank you for watching. Hope to see you soon. Bye! It is made with ram, barley, some vegetables, and beans. Barley. I haven't. Barley. But my best is steak cake. Steak cake. Barley. Barley. Scotch broth is from England. Ah. Uh,